Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to tell you how you can make object coming out of the box inside blender recently i had worked for a client where they want to see the diamond coming out of the box so i'm going to tell you the same technique that i have been going through to create this scene let's just start the video begin with adding a cube this will work as our emitter now go to particle and click on this plus icon If you play the video, you can see the particle for your noun. Now we have to edit this and convert into something another different. First, you have to change the end frame and lifetime. It will be same as your scene, like where you want to stop the simulation. After that, you have to change the emit from set it to volume. Also enable this rotation and tick on this dynamic property. It will help more in the rotation of the object. Now we will add a icon sphere for which I want to emit from the cube basically and select the object inside the render. Click on star select the icon sphere. As you can see the icosphere is falling instead of those white dot particle you can increase the scale of them now i will add a collision object i will try to make a box here quickly After creating a box, I will add a collision property to it. Now I will add a plane, which I will also set to as collision. Now, if you play the video, as you can see, there is so much bounciness. What we can do to reduce that? Go to collision property. Increase the damping and friction. And now again play the video. They are not bouncing. What is happening to them? They are not even collecting. They are gathering at all one place. So we have to go to the emitter, and in the physics tab, we have to change it to fluid. From here, you can control the simulation basically, like the speed of it. The percent for it is how much they are particle are repelling to each other. the particle coming out of the box to fix that click on the emitter go to click on the emitter click on the deflection and click size deflect now it will fix the problem almost we have done everything just try to scale the size a little bit more the box is taking time to filling up what we can do is try to increase the in interaction force also playing with the advanced setting they are not coming up what we can do is try to increase the repulsion force It is taking time to filling the box. We will tweak some setting here and see what is best. Now the object is coming out of the box and falling downside. We have to refine it. As more as we tweak the setting, the better output will come.
there's too much repulsion force between them. So what I'll try to do is decrease them. And now it is look okay to me now. You can also try increasing the number. It is just too much, I don't need it as many of them. So I will turn it back to 1000. After that much tweaking, I am liking this one. Also there will be problem like the balls, the objects are floating above the plane, ground plane. What we can do to fix here is go to the coordination setting and decrease the damping a little bit more. It is not fixed yet. The another thing we can do is just shift the ground pin a little bit downward. So that now it is soiling on our ground axis. Now if you want to emit other than the the microsphere. Let me just import the diamonds. Move it to new collection. I will name it as diamond. Now go to the emitter property. And in the renders, select as collection and choose the diamond one. Click the pick random and object rotation. And you can see the diamonds are falling out of the box. You can do the you can do the advanced setting a little more according to your taste. But yeah, that's how you do it and achieve the object coming out of the box effect. After you have finalized everything, just make sure to bake the simulation or otherwise it will not save if you reopen the project again. So yeah, that's how you can make the object coming out of box inside Blender. That's it for the video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.